To fill out the graphic organizer, you are going to pick a target word. You're going to choose either surprise or worry because those are words that we already talked about. I'm going to show you an example with the word unconcerned. So I would start with the target word. I would click on this because it says target word. And to just save time, I already typed in the target words so that I could just copy and paste to make it go a little quicker. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to put in my target word, which is unconcerned. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that this way the word isn't cut off a little bit. So there we go. So we have unconcerned. Then I'm going to go up here for the definition. I can use dictionary.com or merriamwebster.com to get the definition. So I click on it and it brings me to the dictionary. And I type in my word, unconcerned. And it gives me the definition. So normally I would copy and paste this in or type it in. But I already did it, again, to save us some time. So I'm going to go back to that slide. And it said that the definition was not involved or interested, not caring, unworried. So that's what unconcerned means. So I'm going to go back to this slide and I'm going to paste it in. Then where it says some examples, we can use pictures or you can describe it with your words. I found a picture of this person in this chicken outfit and I said that she's unconcerned about looking silly. Some people do not like to look silly. This person in this chicken outfit does not care. She's not caring. She is unconcerned that she looks silly. So we're going to paste that in. I'm going to get rid of that text box if I can. There we go. I'm going to move this one over so that it's on that circle. There we go. And you see, it doesn't have to line up with the, uh, the circle perfectly. It's fine. As long as I can see it and read it, that's good with me. It's cutting this off, so I'm just going to move it so that I can see it. Now you're going to use it in your own sentence. The sentence that I made up with unconcerned is, it is supposed to be cold this weekend, but I am unconcerned. Sometimes we care what the weather is going to be like. I don't care what the weather is going to be like. So I am unconcerned. That is my sentence. And then I had my son, oops. I had, I didn't copy this one. I had my son make up a sentence because I thought you guys might be able to relate to it a little bit better since he's more your age. So he came up with a sentence and that's going to go here. Give an example of someone else's sentence. So you can ask someone in your family to make up a sentence with your target word, or you can look online for this a set, the sentence, for a sentence with your target word. Or another option is to, if you just see one in when you're reading for your classes or anything like that. So here is my son's example sentence that he gave me. He said... I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in. When I asked him for a sentence, he said, I am unconcerned with the amount of schoolwork I have, which is good. That means he doesn't have, he feels like he can handle his schoolwork. So that's a good news. And I'm going to bring this to the front so you can see it. I'm going to double click. It's not really letting me. I want to order it, order, okay, order, send backward, okay, oops, now we lost our word, let me try this. Okay, thank you for being patient. Here we go. There's unconcerned. Okay, so 
I'm unconcerned with the amount of schoolwork I have. Wonderful. Now a synonym. What is another word that means the same thing as unconcerned? And I put unworried. So I'm going to paste that in. Actually, I'm just going to type it in. Unworried. There we go. And now I'm done with my graphic organizer.